Hi everybody, Chris and Marina here. Today we are in Palos Verdes Estates at the South Coast Botanical Gardens and we're visiting SOAR. This is going to be an interactive butterfly experience that actually runs from April 14th through the end of July. This looks like a really good family event and we invite you to join us on this episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles. Tickets for SOAR are $5 for members and up to $22 for non-members, including the price of admission to the garden. Right outside the butterfly exhibit is a nectar garden which was planted just for this exhibit to attract butterflies in the wild. You'll find some of the butterflies' favorite types of plants to eat and also plants where they can lay their eggs. Here is a single butterfly egg that was laid on a leaf of a flowering plant. We found a caterpillar eating as much as it could before turning into a pupa, which is the next stage in life. The pupal stage may last weeks, months, or even years, depending on the temperature and the species of the insect. For example, the monarch butterfly pupal stage lasts 8 to 15 days. When a butterfly emerges, its wings are wet and they're not able to fly until they are completely dry. These butterflies are alive, but they're in the drying cycle. When we arrived, it was cold and overcast. Not a good thing when visiting a butterfly exhibit because they're cold-blooded and they can't fly when it's cold. We were allowed 30 minutes in the exhibit to see as much as we could. We caught them in their sleeping cycle, which means that they just like to hang upside down on trees and stay sedentary to wait for the sun to come out. We did catch a few breaking the cycle to get to food or a water source or just to hang on to the mesh oh, of the exhibit. I'm getting it. That is absolutely beautiful. He's stretching his wings. This guy. Oh. 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 And here we have one that's kind of mm -hmm. hiding upside. Hanging upside down. I think I got it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, look at that. It is. It's right on your back. Hello, little one. This guy just turned around. This guy just came over here. I think. Oh, there's someone there. I think the one from the planet. Oh. Yeah, but there's a better puppy. I don't think I've seen before either. Oh, there's a blue one flying again. <laughs> Upside down. I see you. You think you're camouflaged, but I see you. <laughs> this guy. Look at this guy. I think that guy is fake. This is so awesome. Can't be more perfect than that. I know. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow, he's loving whatever you got on you. <laughs> After our 30 minutes was up, we decided to check out the gardens which are in bloom. So cute and playful. And here is the homeowner doing her weekly gardening. Oh, too sweet. You should do amazingly in one night. As we headed to the exit, we noticed the fluttering of wings and lots of movement in the butterfly exhibit as the clouds had cleared and the sun had finally broken through. We asked if we could take a few minutes to get a few shots, and since we're members of the garden, they were kind enough to let us back in. Come on. Wow. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Careful where you step, they're on the floor too. Okay, I see them, yeah. Oh, 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 they're on that. you. <laughs> <laughs> Here, go ahead and record. It's, for, it's filming right now. Oh, look at this. Look at all these. I want to keep the camera as still as possible, too. This is so much different than an hour ago. No, we gotta make sure we don't stop. This guy needs to get off the floor. Oh, oh. Oh, hello. Oh, How oh, beautiful. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, it's got it on our back. This guy's gonna get stepped on. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's get off the floor. Come on. Come on. There you go. I got him to take off. You're gonna come all like a like a new kid on the block video, all dressed in white. <laughs> you come in rainbow bright colors. <laughs> wow! Look at that. I'm not even filming. I'm just mesmerized. It's incredible. I know. <laughs> Like you don't know where to look. You don't know, I know. Where to look That's first. the problem. And you start throwing the camera. Oh my gosh! It's so beautiful. Uh -huh. It's beyond words. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. 
So in case you're planning a visit to SOAR, we have a few tips for you. One, make sure to wear bright clothing. That can attract the butterflies to come closer to you and maybe even land on you. Oh, right there. Two, take a peek at the forecast before you book your tickets. On cloudy days, butterflies will not be as active as they are on sunny days. So grab your tickets on those days that will be sunny and warm if you can. But you guys are all riled up now. And number three, if it's a cloudy day, keep a close eye on the undersides of trees and bushes. It's a great way to get a closer look at them.